Hi, welcome to an Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do some surface modeling. So let's change to patch. And as usual, you need some sketches. So I prefer a sketch maybe on that plane. This should be a line. Maybe something like this. Give it some dimensions. This should be 60. And I need an angle, therefore I will include in my sketch one axis. Project. And this should be the x-axis, yes. could change it to construction if you want and there should be an angle and this one should be 86 degrees make sure these two points are horizontally aligned and stop the sketch now let's make a revolve with this line and the axis should be this axis make it 90 degrees and confirm another sketch right on that plane this should be an arc let's do a center point arc that's the center point and it should start here and go up right there and the radius should be 64 stop sketch make an extrude in that direction that's okay make it 60 and maybe just maybe I will change this sketch make this a little bit longer and stop sketch okay now maybe let's hide these two bodies for a moment i need another sketch on that plane this should be another arc come on an arc not a line sorry I wanted to have an arc, a center point arc, maybe like this, okay. And need some dimensions. This should be Fifty. That distance should be thirty. Radius should be twenty. And I need some lines. So I need a line right here. And like this, make this construction lines, okay, this should be an angle and that angle should be 70 degrees, okay, and for reference I need to include an axis, And this should be the y-axis and I need an angle and this should be 10. 
um, degrees. Yes. Stop the sketch. Make an extrude. In that direction, make it 60. Now I want to extend this surface. So let's go for extend and make it tangent. Yes. This edge, make it, let's say, 50. Okay. And the other edge as well. Extend. Again, 50. Now let's show all the surfaces. And now I want to trim. So let's go for trim, trim, and first use this face as trim tool. Now I can remove this part and that part. Yes, this one should be removed and that one should be removed. Confirm. Yeah. Now again another trim. Let's trim with this surface. And I want to remove that one. Confirm. Now let's trim again. Now that's the trim tool, and this should be removed. Come on. This should work. Okay. Now let's stitch these two together, confirm, and now let's use this new surface as trim tool and then I can remove this. Okay, now let's stitch them together, this one and that one, confirm, let's make a fillet. And I want to make one with variable radius and this should be 20 right here and 10 on the other point. Confirm. And another fillet right here which should be 5. Now let's sit in the surface. One millimeter, one side, confirm. And now I can mirror this. So let's go for create. Mirror. I want to mirror our body. That's the body. And the plane should be. This one. Confirm. Now I could stitch them together. Oh, sorry. I already made a thicken, so maybe I will go back right here and delete this here. Delete, delete and first mirror the surface. So create, mirror that surface on that plane. Confirm, stitch them together. 
one, two, confirm, now mirror again, mirror this surface body on that plane, confirm, stitch them together, one, two, confirm, now let's make a thickened surface, go to thicken, this one, make it one millimeter, confirm, and I'm done. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video as well. See you to the next one. Bye bye.